Hello, and welcome to my tutorial. This is the second series, the second tutorial of the series of the Second Life Photography. Uh, this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to edit and do shadows, highlighting, uh, all kinds of cool, neat tricks and techniques that a lot of people don't want to show you, and I'm going to show you them. So, let's get started. First, we're going to open up our image. Okay, first we're going to open up our image. Um, here we go. So now we got a perfectly high quality, high res um, photo. We're just going to What we did is we just we're just deleting the green as you can see. So all we're doing is we're just getting rid of the green. That's all we're doing. Just getting rid of all of the green. Okay. And another cool trick that I'm going to teach you is um, we're going to go to hue slash saturation. And then we're going to go to greens. And then we're just going to bring the saturation down. And as you can see, what the difference it did. Okay, what you can see. See, there's a green. Now the green is gone. That's another cool trick you guys can do. Um, and it, it definitely does help. You can see that there's green in the hair, so in order to get rid of the green in the hair, first we need to go back to our avatar layer, and then we need to press, we need to lock the transparent layer, and then we need to grab our brush tool, and we need to set the brush blending layer mode to color, and then we grab the blonde hair color, and then we just color over. See how that works? See how that works? That's beautiful. Okay. Oops. And, um, so that's <coughs> pretty much how that works. And, um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much how that works. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to merge it. Actually first we need to, since we're done with the hair coloring the hair, we're going to unlock the transparent layer and we're just going to the transparent layer and then we're going to select, we're going to press shift and select both layers and we're going to right click and press merge layers and then what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little, we're going to take the rectangular marquee tool and we're going to select the avatar press image crop and that will crop your image and then what you want to do is you want to you're going to want to uh, oh what you call it um, you're going to want to go to filter liquify now liquifying is very very vital and very important because if you do not liquify you're going to have a very edgy avatar and you don't want that so let's just liquify really quick okay so just um, and also if you want to quickly um, bring your brush change your brush size it's just the brackets on your keyboard the bracket keys if you don't know what the bracket keys are then just look it up on google or I can I'll leave in the description box the bracket keys to make the brush sizes bigger and smaller so just look in the description of the YouTube video, please. Oops. This is very important because if you don't do this, then you won't have a clear um, idea No, I'm just kind of fixing I'm just kind of fixing the pixels and then press OK. Now we don't have any pixely edges. Now we can um, take the rectangular marquee tool and just select our entire background. And then we're going to go to... Um, I like to personally go to Amisha84. Um, this is Laura Herbert's um, Deviant Arts. She is an amazing, incredible, incredible artist, and I really recommend you check her out. Um, I've learned that going to her favorites on DeviantArt is a really helpful way to find um, <coughs> some really nice backgrounds for your photo SL photography. So, oh, I like this one right here. This is really nice. So, um, we're just 